Hey, this is Rob Ripe Designs. We're back, and I'm going to discuss my new tool, the Langmire Crossfire Pro. Alright, uh, I want to discuss this table that I bought. Uh, I bought it used from a couple out of Wichita, and I got a super deal on it. I think if you get the just bare bones, it's about $2,700 for this table. But if you get all the bells and whistles, it's about $4,200 for the, for the Crossfire Pro table. It's 48 by, I believe, 33. And I did a lot of the upgrades, and I wanted to kind of uh, discuss that real quick. So I, re I watched a lot of videos out there. One was from uh, DN, DN and Custom Creations. He's got great videos out there. I actually did some of his uh, items that he talks about in his videos, and I'll have a link below. Uh, I also have a couple Bex Armory items on my table now, and I'll have a link for his some of his videos that I checked out. Spicer Designs is another great uh, guy who does some great videos out there, and I got some ideas from him. And last but not least, uh, Mike Festiva. That guy uh, has some great videos about the Langmire Crossfire Pro, and I watched a lot of those to make that all happen for my table. So the table itself comes, it's got the X, Y, Z, but I added a few things. One of the first things I added was my laptop arm. It's not your typical arm. I'll sh hopefully we'll have a link below. Uh, but a lot of them you can buy for Langmire that just swings out right here. But I wanted to have it concentric to the to the actual table that I could swing it out of the way. And then I could bring it back out here when I'm cutting, open it up, do whatever I need to do, and it works great for me. One of the DNN custom creation creations that he did for his was the chains. And Again, I'm not gonna go over much about how I did it. I basically did the way he did it in his video and we'll have a description for that. But basically you use aluminum through the metal, cut, or actually this is square aluminum, two by two, cut in half. And you can buy the chains. I'll have links for the chains and everything that I bought. And then you have a longer chain that goes through this uh, aluminum square part and I basically did what DNN Custom Creations does in his video. And I'm telling you, I, I did this initially before I even started using the table because I wanted a, a cleaned up wired piece for my table. One of the other items I bought was from Bex Armory. It's his mount with lasers. And I did a quick video before about this, but man, this thing is, is a godsend because it will it literally, it has crosshairs and you can know exactly where to put your starting point. A um, couple of other things we did, I added this ground piece here. It, it attaches directly to your plate, whatever you're cutting. You can still use the jaws, but this I like this quite a bit. I picked this trick up from another YouTuber. One of the other things I did is I have my razor weld plasma cutter down here. And I put this, I built this shelf here to, to house all of this. This is not part of their, their table, of course. And I want a nice area to clean up everything. And so I can store my cooling fluid, Sterling Cool. I can, this is actually out of a, excuse me, this is a 20 gallon tank that I was actually using to spray the grass with. And I took the wheels off, had its already pump on it. And I actually use this to pump fluid back into my table. And then at the end of the day, if I want to clean all my table out, I have little valves here that I can close and open that allows me to empty out my table and it stores all the fluid in here. For this, I just use a battery. I 
keep this charged up. This is a motorcycle battery. And basically, I just hook this up to here. And once I put this into here, and I have my fluid that starts coming out. Um, next thing I, I bought for my table was, got it from Lowe's. It's a tough built shelving unit, but it fits beautifully underneath the table. And mainly I keep my consumables in here, my old Langmire uh, mount, some batteries for my laser unit, uh, parts. But it fits really nicely underneath uh, my table and it helps keep everything clean and uncluttered. Or excuse me, not cluttered. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty important thing to have for my table. Other than that, it's basically all the upgrades I really did. I did do a THC pipe controller on my unit. And that I actually wired over here where I have my controlling unit. And I tied it and Velcroed it right here to my razor weld, 45. It's been working great. Also, I put some hooks and some other items just so I can kind of contain, you know, the cables. So I added some hooks over here for all of my wiring. Uh, this is the wiring that comes from the actual machine torch. Put some hooks on this side. And I have another hook right here for my other cables, just to kind of keep everything clean and uncluttered. I did add a electric box to my table itself, and this helps us plug in, the, in this box and in my uh, laptop. On the back side of these boxes, though, I do have rubber grommets to keep uh, them not rounding out to the actual table. Other than that, I've just tried to clean up all my cables, uh, my limit switches. I try to clean them up right here. And I just try to clean up the, the limit switch, ran the cabling, just to kind of pretty up the whole table. And basically, it's just, I did this initially from the get-go because I wanted to have a clean process to my table where I could put it away if I needed to put it away. And I didn't have to have, you know, another desk or another thing for my computer. I didn't have to have another, you know, toolbox in the side. I want everything to be, whatever's gonna be with this machine is tied to this machine. And also with the shelf, it also helps with rigidity of the actual table. I did put some wheels on this and casters so I can roll this around, it works really well. I did buy some other casters that are more heavy duty, but I haven't had to put them on yet. So it's worked out really well. So that's uh, basically my table, how I've put it together. I want to kind of go over those pieces, parts. Maybe somebody wants some ideas of how they, they want their table to be. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please put them below and I'll try to answer them. Again, also I'll try to have in the description uh, all the items that I did to my table. Again, some of these ideas are from DNN Custom Creations. He's got some great videos on his plasma table. Bex Armory's got some great videos that I've, matter of fact, I'm probably going to put his index indexer here, index plate. I did buy it, just haven't cut it yet. Now probably one of the last things that I'm going to add to my table is that uh, indexer because it helps out. But with the lasers, they can index right to your XY, exactly where to start. This is a must have for sure for Bex Armory. Um, do the laser again. Um, it just crosshairs. It goes directly to the point of your torch and you know exactly where your starting point is at. I just wired mine, you can wire it many different ways. He's got, you know, he gives you enough cable to wire this box to a switch. I just put it right on here because I already had this piece of aluminum for my, for my chain. 
So my chain is tied to this piece of loom, which then is screwed to this bracket here. Basically what, same thing kind of like what uh, DNN Custom Creations does. So it was easy for me, I just put some double sided tape on here, push this on there, and it gives me the ability to turn on and off when I need to. So again, <clears throat> for any Crossfire Pro, the, the chains for me was a must have just because it cleans up the wiring. Can you do this without all that? Sure. Uh, it's just something to make the, the machine nicer, makes it more like, I don't know what it's like higher end machine, but it just kind of cleans everything up to make the machine work more efficiently. So uh, with that, uh, I, I hope this has helped a little bit. If you have any questions about certain things that I did talk about that you want me to cover maybe in a different video, I would love to. This is probably the next evolution of Rife Designs is, is making things with the plasma table. Maybe, maybe make some new brackets I can sell on Etsy uh, and, and actually start doing some of the artwork that I used to do back in the day. So that's kind of my next uh, evolution that I want to try to see what my limitations are with this machine. So hopefully this helped and we'll see you on the next one later.